um, to trust or not to trust? Well, that is the question. Um, hey, Bill, I am a 19-year-old guy and have been dating a girl who is almost two years older than me for about two months and known her for about seven months. All right. Do you realize how many numbers are in that? Let's, let's start over again. I'm 19, dating a girl who's 21 for two months, and I've known her for seven months. Okay, I got it. We're in a long-distance relationship. Oh, jeez, jeez. And have never met. Oh, come on. But we Skype almost every day. To trust or not to trust? Uh, not to trust, sir. You might as well be up in a spaceship. Her pussy's on the other side of an ocean, dude. All right? Uh, you want, you're going to have to have some incredible bone structure and verbal skills to keep that woman satisfied. I can tell you that. If you're going to try and do this over Skype. All right, but I plow forward here. I live in the UK, and she's in America. Uh, I love her to bits, and she says that she loves me. I had an issue before meeting her, and it really felt like I was exercising demons when I told her about my issues. She's my first girlfriend, plus I've had issues around women previously, as well as bullying in school. And we got everything out in the open. All right, it felt like it had set in... Oh, Jesus, some weeks I suck at reading and some weeks I really suck at reading. Let me regroup here. He said, it felt like it had set in stone a relationship that was secure and trustworthy, given we'd shared a lot of our past, such as her getting sexually abused as a child, as well as her previous relationship breakdown. Oh, breaking down. Um, during these two months, I have felt me, myself gaining self-esteem I never really had as a child. But yeah, there always seems to be a but with the emails that you get. Uh, she recently told me she cheated on me with somebody she met in the five months between meeting, uh, meeting her and starting to date. <clears throat> Sir, you haven't been dating. You've been Skyping. Um, she tells me it all happened too quick and she felt pressured into it. I'm unsure how to move forward and if we have a future together. Our long distance relationship is based on trust. Can't that... Can that be repaired? Thanks, Bill. You should do a show in England again soon. Um, no, sir. No, no. This is uh, beyond over. You're sifting through ashes of basically a relationship, a physical one that never existed. And the more you Skype with her, the longer, the harder it's going to be for you to move on. All right. You said that you got some self-esteem. I need you to ramp up your self-esteem even more and have the self-esteem to just say, listen, and do it in a nice way. Just say, um, I think you're a great person, and I think if you were here, things would be different, but you're not. So um, I think it would be better for both of us. Now, fuck better for both of us, because then that could, then she'll be like, but I'm okay with it. You got always got to stick with you when you're talking about getting out of a relationship. All right? Just, yeah, I, I mean, it's over. You cheated on me. It's already hard enough that we're on different sides of, sides of an ocean. And all we can do is Skype. You know, at the end of the day, just be like, I'm not even mad at you that you cheated on me. I understand it. You know, human beings, we need a human connection. And this is like I'm fucking uh, ground control to Major Tom. Like I'm fucking orbiting the earth here. We can't, we can't, have, a, uh, we can't have a relationship here. All right? Having said that, let me see your goods. Just one time, put them up against the screen. Come on, you filthy whore. Sorry. Um, yeah, I would not trust her, sir. And I would, uh, I might even go into therapy if I was you. Sounds like you had a rough uh, go of it with the bullying and that type of thing to the point that uh, you're so pulled back that you're having relationships, a non-physical one, um, over the Internet. You got to get out there, sir. You got to get out. You know, join a fucking volleyball league, softball league, uh, book of the club, book of the club, book of the month league, book club of the month, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. Uh, if you're not into sports, take a fucking cooking class. Just get out there. Get out there where the broads are at. You know, it's even greater if you just, hey, let's go, you know, oh, you're into reading, you're into cooking. It breaks the fucking ice. I would do that. All right. That's what I would do. I would not trust her, sir. All right? You deserve more than that. 
Good luck. And God bless the United States of England.